Hey everyone and welcome back to Begin the Gathering. Shara here and this is my 100 baby challenge. And I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently today. Uh, I was having some problems with OBS and when I recorded all of this, apparently my audio was not recording as well. So if you didn't see my last episode, on Wednesday, I did a mini spinoff, and uh, Luna went on a date with YouTuber Repzilla. Um, in that video, little Apollo, he aged up into a toddler, and he is absolutely adorable. Look at his cute little hair, and he has the brightest eyes, and I love that watermelon shirt. But he decided to age up and I just saw a baby floating there and I was like what is going on but that's that was him aging in this episode I am going to try to get well I already know what happens but the goal of the episode was to age out Luna uh, Venus so that Luna can have another baby and the kids are working on skills and stuff uh, Apollo loves to stand in that area. Another one of the goals, forgot, is that we are going to move into the house that I want near the water that I hadn't been able to afford. And we have enough money for that, so we are going to move out as soon as all the kids go to school. I had time with the weekend and then Harvest Fest. The kids had a lot of days out of school. I couldn't age anybody out. For the longest time so hopefully today that'll happen for us because it's Sunday currently but it will be time for school soon uh, my kids are just working on things getting some sleep and since our next baby daddy is Caleb the vampire if you guys have suggestions for a cool vampire name, I don't know if the baby's going to be one, but we'll see. Um, leave a comment below, that would be awesome. Here I was trying to get, I believe it's Dave, no, Shamgar. It was Shamgar. He needed one skill to level 4 and I was trying to get his gaming up, but he really wasn't working fast at that and it's like he didn't really enjoy it. But waiting on Luna to wake up. She's probably got yep, she's got a shower. Can use the restroom. I've never done a voiceover before, so I'm a little bit nervous. I might ramble and I apologize for that. Um, not gonna lie, it's really boring watching this game with no sound. I'm just like, what is going on here? But a lot happened in here and I had to cut some things out. I just realized Venus was at work being a good child. Eric, he's doing really well. I'm not sure. I mean, I already know, but it wasn't apparent if he was going to be an A student this time around or not. And he's just kind of uncomfortable because he needs a bath, but he's got to wait on his mom. If I sound a little bit weird, I had to change my aligners. And I'm getting used to them. Let's see, Kylie, she looks pretty good. Apollo's just wanting to learn, and that's awesome. Little uni. Our neighbors decided to come over and bring us some food. I think that somebody had invited us over to that festival they were having and we couldn't make it. But they brought us some food. Eric invited everybody in and we sat down and talked and ate. I say we, but I mean they did. I wanted Luna to woohoo with the, the one guy. I think his name's like Dwayne or something. And he rejected us. She seemed kind of miserable anyway. And yeah, so 
she's not really in an interactive mood, but the kids seem to have fun with the guests, and they all got to eat food that wasn't prepared by anyone in the house, so that was cool. Plus, all our guests left plates everywhere, and we were able to throw them away and get some more money for our move. Throughout this video, I did not notice it whenever I was uh, playing, but apparently the monsters kept waking up the kids, and <laughs> well, I didn't allow Luna to be a good mom and spray under the bed and stuff to make them feel safer. Here I had a uh, Shamgar try to do funny interactions with uh, Uni. She was uh, incredibly amused. She seems to be a bit more on the serious side. But I was hoping that would like get him the comedy skill, but it didn't. I guess because kids are silly anyway. I eventually found something that he was good at and really enjoyed, so that should be coming up soon. Yeah, I'm about to do that now. Yep, there it is. I bought him a child's violin. And he happens to not sound very good, but he enjoyed it, and that's what's important. He was able to get his creativity skill to level 4. <laughs> he did some more tease, and they made fun of adults. And she was like, nah, I ain't into that joke. And I, yeah, Luna. Luna had an accident and got incredibly embarrassed. So it looks like the party is probably wrapping up now. Oh, this is where I was trying to convince them to woohoo. So it was up for fun, and he was interested. And we got our playful little boy playing the violin. He's not any good at it right now, but he's going to keep working at it. I think I'll probably have him be a musician. And one thing I realized, I like having my ca uh, camera up in the right hand corner, but it covers up like the notification wall and I'm going to have to like take screenshots of when my kids get uh, A's and stuff. So it doesn't appear like I'm making things up. I didn't think about it for this episode, but I will, for future reference, be doing that. I let him play until he m leveled up his skill, and then I had him go to bed, I believe. The other kids are working on going to bed. Yeah, he sounds really bad. I think right towards the end of level 4 for creativity, he started sounding alright. And for whatever reason, Dave is looking at the painting that Venus never finishes. Alright, so everybody got their needs up and they're ready for the next day. The kids will be going off to school soon and it'll just be Mama and Baby Apollo. He's still learning, wakes up and starts learning. He's sad because he hasn't had a bath. I don't really have a way to bathe him right now. Oh, she's asking him, does he want to learn how to potty? Yeah, we worked on potty training. I wonder if the kids are disappointed that the painting is not finished because they all look at it and just stare. No thought bubbles or anything. Oh, 
yeah. Uh, Dave, he picked up the violin and started playing also. So that's cool. I'll probably have to get him one. They're both named after musicians, so it's perfect. And here they are, off to school, one by one. Bye, Venus. Bye, Uni. Bye, Dave and Shamgar. I think Kylie was still working on her homework, and Eric was at the um, ocean. Here I'm packing up all the things I wanted to take to the new house. Apollo was asleep. I'd already packed up like the birth certificates and here he is crying because he wakes up and there's nothing in the house. But Luna is getting ready to leave. I did like a little Baywatch thing as she gets ready to call and move to a new house. And here we are. This is the news. I forgot to do a full uh, all the walls up and everything. The layout, it's pretty empty right now. I didn't want it to cost too much that I could actually afford to move. And the big room with the blue floor is for the kids. The middle room is the bathroom, the bigger, the, the medium sized room right there is the bedroom, and then the wood floor is like our open space, living area, kitchen, and we'll have couches and stuff in there eventually. Got all the birth certificates, the easel, I don't think I put it out yet. I had to buy some furniture because we didn't have appliances or toiletry stuff. I bought cheap things for now. Just until we can afford better. But I figured we could function in our own house, old house just fine with minimum things until we get a new place. I mean not a new place, new, newer stuff, and more stuff, that it would be fine. I actually ended up selling that one door, because we have like three doors, and I needed some money. But it has a wraparound porch, they can jump off into the uh, ocean. And they'll be right at the house. That way they're not traveling across the map to go to the bathroom. And, I mean to come back home and eat and get ready for school and stuff. A little Apollo was upset because he's dirty and we actually have a bathtub. So he's going to go cry and wake up his mom. Here he goes, he's getting ready to cry. And we're just gonna have her we're just gonna have Luna give him a bath. And then everybody's gonna go to sleep while the kids are in school. So she's asking him if he wants a bath, and of course he does because he feels miserable and dirty. Groovy! Oh, Groovy's a race! It's just so quiet with one little toddler. I believe she only has like eight days until she becomes a a an adult because she's a young adult right now. Eight days until she becomes an adult. 
we had a long period where she couldn't have any babies. She's gonna read him to sleep. And I ended up having to move the bed. But because of no school and stuff, we had a good bit of time where we couldn't age anybody out. And here's an adorable little moment where Mama reads to her baby. Oh no. I hope I didn't zoom too much in. If you're wondering why my face is a still frame, it's because the video was me talking with no words coming out. So I was like, yeah, I'll just put a picture there for now. Alright, so the baby is asleep and Mama Luna decides she is going to eat some chocolate cake by herself and enjoy the silence. I can totally relate. In the next video I'll give a proper house tour. All the kids are home from school. Venus is an A student. Eric is an A student and one of the twins, the boy twins. I want to say it was Dave, he was an A student, and the other one was a B student, but I couldn't remember when it came time to age them up who was who, and the one kid who I thought wasn't supposed to age up was an excellent student, and the other one was an average student, so I just decided that I was going to wait. That way they can age up at the same time. It's not hurting anything because they can't move out anyway. But Eric and Venus both move out on the same day. I was expecting Venus, but I wasn't expecting Eric as well. And Luna's obviously not having any fun. Here we go. She was still in the house. Oh, you be around. They're all waiting to celebrate. I thought I deleted that door. I guess I did that. And there she goes, aging up and randomizer. She got vegetarian. A uh, good. Oh, I think that's outgoing, active, and vegetarian. Which sounds perfect for her. Luna is celebrating. Congratulations. Had to pause it so I can add more birthday candles before anybody decided to eat it. And it's Eric's turn. Eric seems to be growing into a responsible boy or young man. As he'll be an adult soon. There he goes. He was already evil and erratic and I believe he was an insider, yeah, an insider. So I feel like he would be like one of those manipulative people who acts all cool and everything to your face to get info. And then he really wants to use it for no good. But take a look at this. He's like, I'm finally an adult. <laughs> I love that face. Her two oldest children are ready to move out. And here we go. Moving them into their own household. Bye, my lovelies. They'll still be there in a minute, but it's just sad. We could be having twins, though, possibly, since two children moved out. I wanted to give my kids resident, resident keys. And she's thinking about aliens. Awesome. 
I'm not sure if they actually accepted them. And I like to think that her mood was because of the kids leaving, but it was mostly because she's bored. Mm. I'm calling Caleb over right away. We want to get him over here and see if we can have a baby with him. Eric's tired, so he's like, I'm heading out. Oh, I know which door I got rid of. That door beside the stove. I was going to get rid of the big door right there, but I thought it was pretty. Okay. And here we are waiting on Caleb's arrival, because he did say he would be right over. And apparently it takes a while for vampires to travel to Solani. So, we shall see. Okay, that was my cat. I thought somebody was knocking on the back door. Alright, there's a bunch of toys on the floor from adult, uh, from parent, bleh, from the baby daddies. And here's Caleb, he finally showed up. It took forever, I cut a lot of that out. We were just waiting and waiting and waiting. I eventually called Shamgar, I was like, if Caleb isn't going to show up, you're going to show up. But apparently it was taking Shamgar a while to get there also. Here's Caleb, we're coming out to ask him if he wants to try for a baby. Oh yeah, she's making food like a responsible mom Aww. first. Hey, My children need to eat. And then woohoo after. And she's hungry so she grab grabs a plate and just lets Caleb stand out in the rain because he's a vampire, he won't come in unless he's invited. And when she gets done, she finally makes her way out there. It was oh, raining, wow. so hopefully nothing bad happens. <laughs> Good, she was safe, but he made it to the bedroom before her. He was very, very ready. And there they go. Let's see what happens when a mermaid and a vampire have a baby. So far, every single child if I'm not mistaken, is a vamp- uh, is a mermaid, sorry. Is a mermaid, so... I don't know if we're gonna break that cycle anytime soon. We'll see how this vampire mermaid... thing goes. Uni was- I mean, Kylie was dirty, so we got her taking a bath. I think some of the kids were tired, so they're about to go to bed. And they're finished. We gotta take the pregnancy test. Here in a moment. Takes her a minute to wake up afterwards. She was already tired, I think. Yeah. She was below halfway. Alright. Ah, uh, she realizes that <laughs> Kylie was in there. And Caleb runs out to mop up the mess out there. need to get Kylie out of there in case he decides to leave. She's in a good mood and that's awesome, but she needs to get some sleep. And Luna needs to see if she's pregnant. And congratulations! She's going to be telling Caleb here in a second. Let's see. We're going to have a baby! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I guess he's thrilled about it. But this is where we leave off in this episode. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a little bit different than what I usually do. And leave, comment, subscribe, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you don't. It's fine with me. But I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!